Hey guys, this is DJ94, 2009, and I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to get characters from the WoW Model Viewer into your video. Okay, first we're going to open up your WoW Model Viewer and load World of Warcraft. Let's see, go to, say, it doesn't matter who you pick or what, what you pick. So, you might want to do it like a uh, creature or something. What is this? Okay. Say you want them to walk s sideways. So you pick walk. Okay. Then, okay. So you want you might want to speed a little bit slower. Like that. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna. Well, I can't write right now, but I'm going to in a second. Uh, you're gonna have to record this walk however long you want, maybe a minute or 30 seconds, whatever. And how, depending on how long it's gonna be on the screen, record it. And then you're gonna. Then I'll tell you what to do next. Let me record this. Okay, now that you've recorded the uh, the video of whatever you want. Make sure it has like a you know a dark background or maybe like a neon green background, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, import that into your. Say you have like a I don't know anything really anything you can do it on. So you can go to say here. And then okay, now that you got your uh, stuff, your background and your foreground imported, what you're gonna do? Say you wanna make it where this, like me, I actually got a picture of like storm wind, it's just a still picture of a guy of. Just nothing, pretty much. Here, actually, I'll change the picture. Okay, now that I've changed the picture, I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, or put the guy inside the picture. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna get your uh, well mod of your picture. You can actually drop it straight on top of here. Then what you're gonna do? You're gonna hit uh, go over here on the right on the search panel. And people who don't know what it is, uh, or how to get that up, if you don't have it up, you can actually drop this little thing right here, the workspace thing down, and click on standard, and it's actually come standard. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to do uh, color key. And you can either drop this straight on top of, say, your video right here, or you can... Uh, Put it straight on top of here. I'm gonna do it right here because it doesn't really matter. And then what you can do is hit the little dropper tool and then click the outline. Okay, so that's your that's gonna be your first task. You can actually make him smaller and say you, you want to put it. Say you want to put it right here. Make it smaller because. So it'll be more realistic. Drop them to the ground. Now what you're gonna do? You can actually hit the play button and see it and watch it work. Mine's a little slow right now because I'm running fraps in the background and that the well actually I think the video is actually slow that I did of the guy walking. Okay. Now that you got that, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this. You can actually lock down this right here so you don't move it. The background picture. And just click on this and hit the P button, which is, and it'll pop up that, like the uh, position timer. And what you're gonna do, since you're at the very beginning of the video, you want them to start out right here, okay? You're gonna click that, okay, and then maybe skip ahead in the video a little bit. It's gonna be, so you want it right there by the, or you want it right here. By the time 
it gets to that point in the video. So what you're gonna do? Well, actually, you can make him where he walks off screen. Just make sure it's straight. Okay, so what that does, that actually makes it where he uh, just walks across the screen. You can also make it where it's a different size. So like say you're coming toward the the object, then you can uh make it bigger and bigger as it gets to you. So, but this right here is basically the easiest way to do it. Anyways, also what you can do, you can hit the Z button. Say you want to like fix it fix the video or fix the picture or video whatever you want to do take off like the little black edges and then what you can do you can do uh, key light and since I'm so close I'm gonna just drop it on top of this and then what you can do with that you can uh, click the oh. I may not be able to do it because of yeah I don't, I don't believe I'll be able to do it but if if I had a neon green background it'd be a lot better but since my, I have so much black on my guy then this is pretty much the best you can get besides the uh, you can also do the uh, maybe screen game may help yeah Anyways, uh, normally you would do that, and then you could do uh, clip black. You know, mess around with the settings. But since uh, I have so much darkness on my guy, I can't really do it. Anyways, uh, you just mess with the settings, and it'll do it. Anyways, back to the uh, video. So that's good. Now I'm going to teach you how to make it walk behind the, uh, say you want him to walk behind this object or something. And between, and in front of that. So, okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to make sure you clicked on this. Go to layers. Go to solid. And I'm just going to make mine blue. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not even going to be seen. Anyways. And then do make comp size, which that'll make the make it the whole size of the thing. And usually when you do a picture, it'll be the like or whenever you do like a still picture, it, I think it goes for like a minute or whatever you set it to. So then that blue would be like a minute long, which it doesn't matter. I mean you can set it to whatever you want, but it's I'm just gonna keep it there for the time being for the video sake. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off the blue by hitting the little eye thing. Now what you're going to do, you can either come up here and hit this or you can hit G for the pen tool. Hold on a second, let me go to, let me zoom back out. Hit, if you hit hold alt, you can actually zoom in on whatever part you want. That's what I'm doing right now hold alt and wherever your mouse is it'll zoom in anyways hit G and what you're gonna do then you're gonna just basically whatever part you wanna cut out click there there and I'm doing this kinda quick just to show you how to do it and since he's not tall as this I'm not gonna go all the way around that but if you have something that's taller than that then uh you can do it. And click that, that, that. Again, uh, since he doesn't come below that, okay, you can also do it. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. I mean, you can take your time and you can zoom in and do, do it like really good. 
But this right here is just a quick thing. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you see the eye, so now what you're going to do is, uh, oops, go to tracking mat, hit uh, alpha inverted. Okay, so now it'll be invisible, but he's still walking behind it. See it? So now it looks like he's walking behind the whatever that is the tank the tank thing and so I hope that helps uh I hope that helps everybody with whatever they were trying to do uh help you make some machinima whatever you want to do with it you can also put this in like real real world things and I know this video or that doesn't look very realistic but you can take your time out and do whatever you want with it anyways uh that's the tutorial i hope it helped out you guys uh and leave comments on what you think ask ask me questions uh leave comments on what you would like to see like different video effects uh and i'm dj 94 2009 and i hope you have a good day